Hey guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and today we're going to take a look and start a new series here on the channel, which I'm calling Budget Bushcrafting. Now, bushcrafting can be a little bit daunting from the standpoint that you look at videos and you see people and they seem to have a lot of gear, and you feel like, man, I need a lot of gear to go out and bushcraft. Well, let me tell you, you really don't. And even when you get gear, it doesn't have to be exceedingly expensive gear. And that's what we're gonna look at over this series, probably, I don't know, six, eight videos over the next couple months at some um, gear that is uh, budget friendly, but also very effective and very useful. This is all stuff that I own and that I've used and I think is at a really reasonable price point uh, for a quote unquote beginner. Now I am by no means an expert in bushcraft and the word bushcraft is um, kind of just a, a word that a lot of people like to throw around, but really if you like to get out in the woods and you like to uh, utilize natural materials to uh, live, to survive, to have fun, uh, that's what I consider bushcraft. So the first thing we're going to look at today is a uh, budget-friendly backpack. So stay tuned, we're going to start our budget bushcraft series and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> All right guys, so what are we looking for in a budget backpack? Well, uh, obviously it needs to be something relatively uh, reasonably priced. It needs to be something that is um, well put together. Uh, when you're out uh, quote unquote bushcrafting or just uh, out in the woods having fun and doing your thing, you need something that's robust enough to stand up to pretty significant use. Um, what I found that I use the most is this. This is the medium-sized Alice pack. The Alice pack is a uh, military issue, so military surplus, and uh, this particular Alice pack I bought brand new. I bought the pack itself brand new at uh, my relatively local uh, military surplus store. It was, I believe, $39.99. Uh, I also purchased online this frame, which I highly suggest if you're going to be carrying any kind of a load. Uh, buying the frame. The frame I think was like $24.99, something along those lines. So I've got around $60, uh, $65 into this pack. You can easily find a similar pack on eBay for around the same price. Prices will vary a little bit. Mine, as I said, was a brand new, so I probably paid a little bit more for the actual pack than most people would, but I really like it. Now, let's talk about some of the attributes of the pack that I think make it budget friendly, obviously, the cost. But what else about this pack makes it good for bushcrafting? For me, when I want to go out somewhere, uh, I want to be able to carry plenty of stuff. I want it to be something that I can attach other things to so that I can add things. Uh, this particular pack, I think, is tremendous because it offers a wide array of storage and it does it all at a relatively low weight, although it's not a lightweight backpack. Um, I'll put the weight at the bottom here of the backpack itself. It's completely empty right now. Um, but it's not terrible by any means, and it's quite comfortable. Uh, I mentioned in one of my past videos, it took a while for me to get the suspension system just right, uh, but now that I do, it's extremely comfortable. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going to uh, change the camera angle a little bit and show you guys what kind of storage options you have in here and how it works. All right guys, so I got y'all pretty zoomed in here. Uh, just wanted to give y'all a general idea. I don't wanna over zoom, give you a good, oh, here comes the kitty. Um, the first thing that you'll notice, and this is an upgrade that I would highly suggest, this, uh, these straps normally come straight through. They are uh, whole. They, they're not, they don't have this buckle. These buckles I added, and they attach to these loops right here. Um, so every time you want to get in and out of the Alice pack itself, you have to actually significantly loosen these or pull them off completely, and it's kind of a pain. 99 cents at Walmart. You can easily just unbuckle these and flip it open. Now, one good thing about this pack, it has a Velcro strap here. This is uh, waterproof right here. And this is basically made for your rain gear. So you can put your rain gear here, just uh, close it up and you're good to go. It does have a Velcro patch here, so you can open this up if you wanna put um, 
bring anything through there like a hydration blight or anything like that. So this is the pack itself. In the front we have these three main compartments. Now these compartments are pretty darn large. I have something in here. Okay. Flashlight. Um, to give you an idea on size of these uh, pouches, a Nalgene bottle easily fits inside this pouch, either one of any one of these three. You can overstuff them very easily because you have good adjustability here. Um, this has got snaps. Now I'll tell you, this was a brand new one and within about two days of having it, one of my snaps broke. It was just poorly done, so it's over here, but I fixed it. Just bought a new snap. But you can easily um, adjust these and overstuff this. You can, you know, you can see where you could easily overstuff this and put more than an algae. You can put an algae in here, a trangia on top, whatever it might be. So you have three big uh, compartments. They sell, and I'm going to purchase, waterproof liners for each of these, and they also sell a waterproof liner for the inside. So that is the front. These, as I said, they just snap on uh, very easily. This is all really heavy duty. Uh, webbing, really well stitched on. This stuff's not going anywhere. One of the things that's really nice about this original Alice pack is that each of these back underneath these pouches is through and through. So you can actually go through here. Now this is awesome for putting an axe through here. Uh, and that's where I carry my axe. I just slip it right through here. The um, handle of the axe comes through here and the head just sits right on top there and it works extremely well. The newer versions or the uh, reproductions of the Alice packs, most of them do not have that through and through that I've seen. Um, so that's the three pouches on the outside. Let me snap these and I'll show you all a little more. Okay, so up here you can see plenty of webbing up here to attach anything, grab anything. I want to show you guys a little bit underneath. Uh, it's got some pretty large straps here. You can see I have some orange um, elastic cord here. I usually will put uh, my seat or something that I'm carrying. This particular um, frame, you can see it has a large area that you can attach a um, sleeping bag, whatever you want at the bottom here, a sleeping pad. There's a big area with an open frame pack like this to attach stuff. Inside the pack, it's kind of interesting, and I'm going to try to show you guys this so I can get it on camera. Um, it's got a big, huge area on the inside, cavernous area, and then on top, it has kind of like a separate compartment up top here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it basically separates the inside into two large compartments. One at the bottom, and then this particular pack, or this particular area at the top. And it opens up very wide. You can see, you can fit a lot of gear inside of this Alice pack. It has a couple of straps here. I'm, I'm guessing this is for a hydration bladder, but this is before hydration bladder time, I think. So if anybody knows exactly what these are for, feel free to comment below. There's, there's no instructions on these Alice packs. It, this inside part also has a little tension strap here that you can tension this stuff. So you can kind of tension it to the front here and have just one big area, or I like to have kind of like one compartment at the bottom, and then I'll use my food and water and my more uh, stuff that I need to get more frequently up top here. You can see this just closes up real easily. I'll show you guys real quick. This is a pouch that I added, so ignore that. Um, this is the suspension system for your uh, for to carry it. Um, these are called quick release. These quickly uh, open and close very easily. You can also quick release these. Um, these pop off and then you just undo it like this and you can easily unstrap these. Um, very easy to put back as well. Put this through here. Pop this through. A lot easier from a different angle, and uh, and then snap this. I'm just going to. This is something that I added. I'll show you all that here in a second. So whenever I, um, it does not come with a sternum strap. So whenever I made my little adjustment over there, I just cut off a little piece of webbing on each side, and then I created my own sternum strap that just pops on there. Uh, the bottom, you can see, it's got a pretty big hip protector, and these come around and come around your hips. So that's the Alice pack. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the Alice pack. Um, I like this pack. I've used it for about a year now. Um, you can see it barely has any wear. I mean, it still looks brand new. It hasn't gotten super wet, so that's maybe part of it. Um, but I like the pack. The reasons that I think it's a great budget bushcraft backpack. 
obviously the cost uh, you can pick one up for 50 60 dollars with the uh, frame and i think that's a really good price for a backpack that has so much versatility it is fairly comfortable to carry not the most comfortable it's military surplus but it's very comfortable if you get it fit for um, your body size etc it's very um, flexible it allows you to carry a tremendous amount of stuff up front these big three pockets on the top or on the front of the pack allow you to carry a lot of that stuff you need to get to right away and it's nice to have that on the outside of the pack when you're bushcrafting and you're out there you want to be able to reach certain things very quickly without having to pull everything out of your pack that you might have at the bottom which is more of your sleep stuff so you're able to put your sleep stuff the stuff for camp down low all of your tools and such on the outside even your like i mentioned your um axe that can easily fit on in between the one of those uh, front pockets and then on the top because of the way that the inside is designed you can put all your stuff for camp at the bottom and then it has that top section that kind of separates it separates it out for all your important stuff your food whatever it might be um, you can also like i said purchase waterproof uh, stuff sacks basically for each area which i'm uh, going to get because uh, when i first bought this I just couldn't get it comfortable and I thought this is just isn't gonna work but after quite some time and quite a lot of research on the internet I was able to get this just the way I wanted to so this is the Alice medium pack I think the medium is plenty big I've seen a large and it, it just seems like it's more stuff than I need for a bushcraft this is probably larger than what most people need for bushcraft I like this because I'm able to pick stuff up if I'm gathering fat wood if I'm doing whatever out there I'm able to actually fill this up and bring stuff home so so that is our first uh, installment of budget bushcraft we're looking at a backpack today our next installment is going to be looking at budget bushcraft knives um, and i think you guys will be interested in that we're going to look at several budget knives which i think work very well for uh, beginning bushcrafting or just in general bushcrafting i use the budget knives most of the time i go out so uh, appreciate you guys watching I appreciate you guys supporting the channel I hope that this is a series that is well uh, received I think that uh, the amount of money that a lot of us spend on uh, gear is, is quite a bit and it's nice to know and look at things that don't have to be super expensive that are very useful and that will allow almost anybody to get into this type of lifestyle this kind of activities uh, without feeling like they can't because of uh, budget restraints so um, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share to uh, your friends on social media, whatever it might be. And I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more videos and more budget bushcraft series uh, here on Paleo Hiker MD. Thanks. Yeah.